Okay, Survivor fans, we've just seen the 11th episode of Edge of Extinction. Um, I'm here with Susan Wazena. I'm Marcus James Dixon. And we're not surprised by who went home, are we, Susan? We kind of saw this coming. Yeah, I think, you know, just for the fact he keeps talking about himself in the third person, it's enough of a sin to <laughs> eventually get rid of war dogs. <laughs> yeah, after he voted out Kelly last week, he orchestrated this very ruthless blindside. You and I were talking in the, slug, in the uh, video recap and we're both like, yeah, he's, he's gone. Unless he wins immunity, he's gonna be gone next. Yeah. So was it worth it, War Dog? That's my question. Was it worth it to get out Kelly? And you became a huge target for doing that. Right. Yes. And I think it was a teeny bit too early mm -hmm. for him to pull something like that. But he only listens to himself, I think, pretty much, or talks to himself. <laughs> so, yeah, he's pretty, um, yeah, full of himself. He tried to create an alliance with Rick and Ron, and, and it worked with Rick, because Rick voted with War Dog, but Ron is, is a sneaky one. Ron betrayed him. Well, I, I think he's got more game in his game. I think he's not as obnoxious, for one thing, and he's not, He at least he doesn't show how full he is of himself, because we've heard him talk you know, to the camera, and he obviously thinks very highly of his skills, so. Right. But did War Dog ever win immunity? I don't think he won anything. And in, in this immunity challenge, he's he's swimming to the wrong dock. <laughs> he's just so bad at challenges. It's not even funny. Well, Aurora needs that second vote because she's so good at challenges now that, you know, there's just too much. I mean, I wouldn't blame them going for her. However, the women are in majority, right? Or the three. I forget. I forget the numbers. Yeah. I think you're Laura, right. Laura, Lauren, um, Julie, and uh, uh, Victoria, and um, Aurora. But they seem more uh, challenged by, you know, Aurora than they do the men. Right? Yeah, that's interesting because yeah. after, for, after Kelly goes home, I would expect Lauren her best friend to want to go after War Dog, but she didn't. She wanted to go after Rick, and then Rick won immunity. Then she's like, okay, well, let's go after Aurora. Why did she not want to go after War Dog? I didn't understand that. Because I think Rick has a personality and a, you know, a way of handling people that he's more likely to be you know, voted the winner than War Dog. Just, I mean, War Dog you know, has been manipulating people, but not in the way that anyone particularly likes it. So, and, you know, there's a lot of people on, you know, Reem was giving them the evil eye and the big mouth. <laughs> he stepped out, so. I loved Reem in this episode. She's, she's like, you know, Kelly, you're, you're sitting here crying, but you're the reason I'm out. Like you ruined my survivor journey. And it was yeah. just like a huge moment. And I then, love when they caught, declare themselves super fans. You know, <laughs> it's like, yeah. but, but she did tell her to get out of the sun. So she, the mother's side came out a little bit. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I kind of want Reem. I mean, not this season. I think I think someone else should maybe come back into the game this season. But I want her to come back for a future season. Yeah. Her another. Give her another chance without a bunch of jerks trying to get rid of her so soon. <laughs> so. Yeah. Because, I mean, the reason she was voted out is because she was too motherly. Like, that was an awful reason to vote somebody. I know. Well, they were looking for excuse. And I, I've claimed ageism. Other people just have a noxious, noxious older woman. But, you know, so what? She was a little obnoxious. She still is. I, I love when War Dog came to the camp at the very end of the, of the episode, yeah. after the credits. And she's like, you know, tomorrow morning, I'm going to give you a, a piece of my mind. She's so fiery. <laughs> I like her, come on. <laughs> but um, yeah, Lauren, see, I thought, aren't people picking Lauren to win? Yeah, she right now is Gold Derby's pick to win. Yeah, but she she didn't do nothing on this episode, really. She's very, she's very subdued. Here's my issue with Lauren. 
Um, she's the only one that knew Kelly had an idol. And, you know, watching Survivor all these years, you know that when, when an idol is played or when someone gets out, it goes back into the game. So why didn't she go out and search for this idol? She's the only one that knows that there's a new idol on the, in this camp somewhere. But last week, and it's not Jeff saying this, but it sounded like, I think it was Devin's that said, you know, there's no more idols. It's just these things from Extinction Island coming our way. So no one explained that to the viewers. I don't know. <laughs> was he the official spokesman on that? Did I dream that? No, he said that, but he was just he was just guessing because, I mean, other than his idol that David played, I don't think an idol's been played this season. So if you don't know who has an idol, you're probably thinking, oh, there's no idols this season, or they're all over on you know Extinction Island. Yeah, I, I'm very confused at this point. I wish Jeff would give an interview to Entertainment Weekly so I can steal and find out what that is. Gold Derby. Oh, Gold Derby. He, he, we haven't had, has anyone ever interviewed him for this site? Yeah, we did for, back when he was winning all those Emmys, we, we were doing Emmy. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But he hasn't been nominated since. Well, come on, four. I mean, he does the same thing all the time. So Yeah. He never lost. He, four nominations and four wins. That, that is amazing, yes. But enough's enough. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, next week also looks like it's the family visit, loved ones visit, which means they probably won't do this Extinction Island comeback challenge next week. Yeah, those poor people are just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> Put them to work somehow. <laughs> yeah, I love how Aubrey was, you know, trying to make Kelly feel better by tackling her with a big hug. It must be so boring and awful just sitting there with nothing to do. And Joe, I mean, I did a poll and, and people think he might be the one to come back. I, I think he's lost his will to live or something he just seems very subdued <laughs> whereas kelly has this fire under her yeah, yeah. so we'll see about that who mm -hmm. but um yeah how many more episodes are there well the finale is may 15 so maybe four more okay well that that's time to get somebody else back i guess mm -hmm. but i mean Here's well, I don't know if Ron has a big target on him because what has he done except I mean he manipulated people pretty well without making him feel horrible like poor Gavin did with War Dog as he kept saying barking at him, which is probably why that's his nickname. <laughs> so, yeah, War Dog uh, isn't the most subtle player in that. No, no, and that, oh, that's part of his problem. There, you know. But Ron, and, Ron seems more normal, but he probably isn't. But he's good at acting. <laughs> yeah, I like how Ron and Julie had their, you know, their apology moment because they they voted against each other last week for the first time, but this week they're back to yeah. voting together. And yeah. they're smart because you you know you go on you know each week is a different situation. So I could see Gavin making it pretty far. Um, I could see him being in the final three. The question is, can he win though? I mean, he didn't, he hasn't done a lot. Well, he's won immunity, what, twice? I don't remember. Okay, well, at least once. <laughs> and um, he is good at challenges and things, but um, he doesn't really participate in strategy. Right. He's more right. like, Julie is like, She's just like waffling in the wind wherever anyone's house or whoever deems to talk to her. She's so happy that. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like Gavin tries to do, you know, a social game with a strategy game, but it, it doesn't really work out. Like he was trying to get yeah. David out for a long time and everyone's like, no, <laughs> we're going to get some take himself seriously. Whereas War Dog and Ron are more aggressive. Sport. Or has have more authority in them mm -hmm. because they believe what they believe and he doesn't seem to come off that way. he doesn't talk that much at all actually you know mm -hmm. very much but i mean he, he seems like a nice enough guy right Maybe who works at the y can't be all that bad. 
the jury seems to love him too. Like all those looks they were giving him, especially Kelly, where now I'm thinking if he's in the final three, maybe he has a shot because the jury is just in love with him. But mm -hmm. I really think Rick Devins is going to win. If he's in the final three, it's not even going to be. You know, we'll see what happens with the phony menu. He'll, he'll put, pin all his hopes on it. <laughs> yeah. Remind people about this menu because we haven't seen it since episode one. Oh, well, he, it was like, what, three choices of what you could do? And I forget which actual choices you could, I don't know, steal an idol or something? You could use, use it as a immunity idol. You could steal a reward. Or I think it was an, an extra vote. For yeah. The well, that makes sense, those things seem logical so but as far as i know i don't don't think there. well he already said it's expired yeah he never used it it. To him. yeah so it looks like he's gonna give it to rick but then again like all rick has to do is read it and it'll say this is only good for three tribal councils but so, there's but well, that's why i asked you how many more are left yeah so there's Three, maybe Ron figured that out that it would sound legit because there are going to be three more mm -hmm. before the finale, right? It'll be fun. I love when people give fake advantages to people and they believe them to be real. It's always such a fun moment. We should, we should look up, well, I, I should look up the first fake idol. Mm. I don't think they did that. I mean, because who knew what an idol was anyway in the first show, but maybe in the second show. But they, they collect those things, little totems, and try to do it. Mm -hmm. And then um, and people have been fooled. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, like, sometimes if someone will make an idol and just show it to someone, like, look, I have an idol. Don't don't vote me out. I, I have an idol. But it's not real. And I... I love those type of moves. Did that well. happen on David versus Elias? I thought somebody did something like that. I think that. so. Yeah. Yeah. It happened recently. Yeah. No, people got very clever through the years mm -hmm. <laughs> doing sneaky things with, uh, with very little on that island. So oh, I love the, the, the bitterness with how much rice they can eat. I know. It's like they're an old married couple. <laughs> it was, and it wasn't even that big of a fight. But it's just like he, I love when he said, you know, I've been with her 30 days now. And if I if I win, I deserve $2 million, not $1 billion. <laughs> <laughs> I like Aurora, though, because I think if any of those women, you know, bother to think about it you know they they could do a all woman thing next yeah. week well uh let's end predicting who's going home next next week we got it right this week we pr both predicted war dog so who is your pick for who's going home well it depends how things happen with immunity well do they get immunity if there's a family thing yeah, the, the family thing is usually during the reward portion, and then there's uh, immunity okay. later. Well, I think Devin's is the one they think, because he's a nice guy he, and makes jokes, that he, he might be, you know, da more dangerous because, you know, he's been pretty active in making alliances and everything. He's more flexible than other people in order to you know, get ahead in the game. So I think he's probably the smartest one as far as knowing how to present yourself. But I think, uh, yeah, but who knows if he's going to win immunity, you know, it's, there's all these other things. Gavin, you know, he, he is a pretty good player, but he has no personality, really. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he winks when, you know, the jury comes in, and that's about it. <laughs> so Devin's is your pick? I think so, but, you know, he's he's pulled the rabbit out of his hat a lot, so we'll see. I'm going to say, you're probably right, but just to be different from you, I'm going to say Ron is going home. I think this, this menu is going to backfire, and he's going to go home. All right, he'll get punished for it. All right. But right. it's men. That's interesting. Okay. 
Thanks everyone for watching. Go make your predictions at Gold Derby right now for next week's episode, and we'll see you next week.